Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everybody, my name is Chris and I'm the Parker Students Coordinator at Calvary. Have you ever known someone who goes to church regularly, but it doesn't seem like what's being preached from the Word of God is being lived out in their lives? I think we all know someone like that. I'm sure somebody came to mind for you. And I'm sure you've thought to yourself about that person. That person is so foolish or hypocrite. If only they'd live out what the Bible says. Now look inwardly. Look at yourself. Have you yourself ever been guilty of that? Once again, I think we can all relate to that, whether you want to admit it or not. I know I've thought to myself before, man, I wouldn't be in this situation if I would have put the word of God into action in that area of my life. Well, what I just talked about has to do with the topic we're going to discuss today from James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25, which says this, and I'm going to read it right from my Bible. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you just listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself walk away and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. What James is saying is that it's literally silly and foolish to not do what the Word of God says to do. So why is it so important to not only listen to the Word of God, but to also apply it to our lives? It's important because the actions we are asked to take in the Bible will set us up for success, not failure. When we just listen to the words in the Bible and don't put them into action, we follow our own desires instead of God's, and we set ourselves up for failure. Just like James says, when we follow the words of God, it will set us free, and God will bless us. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. If you don't do what the word of God says to do, you will be chained to foolishness, sin, and you won't receive the blessings God has for you. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound so great to me. So today, challenge yourself. What's an area in your own life where you're just hearing the word of God, but you're not putting it into action? Maybe you're not loving your enemy. Maybe you don't want to forgive someone. Maybe you haven't been giving to someone in need. Maybe you're stuck in a cycle of drunkenness. Maybe you keep lying. Whatever it is, ask God that question today. And once you figure it out, continue to pray and ask him to help you to apply his word to that area in your life. Have a blessed day. Bye.